In this video, we're looking at types of logic sentences. And this is an introduction into our study of logic. So what are our logic sentences? Well, they are statements, right, that we can evaluate for their truthfulness. So they're statements that can be determined to actually be true or false. To be true or false. And the, the, the question is then, what kind of statements or what kind of um, sayings or things, I guess, can we not determine to be true or false? Well, one of them are questions, right? So logic sentences are not questions because a question um, is not something that we can evaluate to be true or false. For example, I could ask, is it raining? Well, we don't know. Right? We have no idea. We were asking about it. From this, we cannot determine if it actually did rain or not. And then, and then next, we could say, well, they're not phrases. For example, um, raining. Just to say part of a statement. Uh, any part or incomplete statement is a phrase. And this is not something that I don't think anyone would even say, but it's, it's to point out that if you're given something that's, that's really not a complete statement, it's a phrase, and is therefore not a logic sentence, and not something that we can evaluate to be true. And then, so if we actually have a statement, well, well, then, well then what? Well, there's open statements, right? These have some kind of variable in them. And in other words, well, the statement could be true, but it, it depends on what variable we use. Or we could have a closed statement, which from right from the start we can evaluate to be true or false. So a closed statement is like a, a square has four right angles. Well, this is... Uh, a, a pretty straightforward statement and we can determine that it is true that's a closed statement a an open statement would say a square has x right angles well this statement could be true if x is 4 but not for other other values of 4 right of, of x because that's that's the open part of the sentence that, that we have a variable. Or we could say, it is going to happen. Well, what is it, right? And it depends on the situation of the, of the statement. So the, the, the preposition it could also be a variable. And that's just, those are just examples of open statements. Now within, within open and closed statements, we have different key phrases. Um, you'll see and, or, if, and then if, and only if, only if. So, so here we have, right, an end statement, an or statement, an if statement, and an if and, if and only if statement. If and only if is called a might be called a biconditional statement. In other words, a statement that goes two ways, or, or for by means two. If is a conditional statement, or is a disjunction, or disjuncture, and this is a conjunction. Conjunction. Um, so, so maybe um, it is raining, Oops, and I have an umbrella, right? That could be my statement. Here it says, it could be, um, it is raining or I stay home. Here it could, say, it could say, if it is raining, then I will stay home. And then a biconditional, something like, if it is raining, or, or it is raining, if and only if, right, I stay home. Right? These are different forms of logic statements, and these are going to be some key phrases for us as we move forward. And that's just an introduction. So I hope that helps us get started.